I've been very involved personally for, well, over 20 years in, in an attempt to change the way the welfare system works so that the people who get support can control that support. And um, that's sometimes fairly easy to do, but sometimes it's very, very difficult, especially the systems that we have um, where we fund residential care or day centres or schools or hospitals. You know, there's a lot of money and power that's going into particular places. And so it's rather hard to move away to a system which says, no, actually, it's the disabled person or it's the person with mental health problems or it's the older person who needs assistance who should really be shaping their own life, who should really be deciding what kind of support they receive and how they use that support to live their own life, their own way. But we have been able to bring about some really positive changes. We created a system called individual budgets, which gave people an entitlement that they could control. Um, before that, disabled people created something called direct payments, which gave people control over the cash. All of these things have helped, but currently they're struggling to emerge from still a web of bureaucracy. And so I think one of the challenges we face as a society is to really start believing in people's rights, the right of everybody to be in control of their own life. And if you need a bit of assistance, you still don't lose your human rights.